At uh, 7.40 this morning, we got called uh, regarding a large fire. We, uh, it's approximately up to 30 residents displaced at this time. We're uh, still dealing with some aspects of the fire. There was a dispute in one of the units that uh, led to this incident. We have uh, a male in custody, another uh, victim at the hospital. Neither have life-threatening injuries. And, that's where we're at at this point. But there's, a, as you can tell, a significant number of folks displaced, and we're, you know, through all the organizations in the community, they're dealing with getting them uh, to a reception center. Uh, I was sitting on the sofa watching television. My wife was sleeping, and there was an explosion. Uh, a, big, a big boom. And my wife and I uh, ran towards each other in the stairs, and we noticed that our the wall in our unit uh, was uh, caved in a little bit from an explosion next door. It seemed like an explosion next door. So I ran outside to take a look and there was um, fire and smoke billowing from the uh, unit next door out for help. And I was trying to get her to come to the window and yelling at her to follow my voice. But there was so much smoke, so much uh, fire. Uh, the fire was coming out from the... The units are built so that the bottom two units, your basement, is your bedroom and your living room is on the first floor. And there was a lot of fire coming out of the first floor and, and a lot of smoke coming out of the basement in, in the bedroom where where the fire seemed to have occurred. Uh, everything went quiet. I thought for sure that uh, there was nobody was going to come out of there alive and miraculously a uh, fireman pulled the lady out from, from the basement window in that fire. It was... It was incredible to see. At the same time, they pulled out her son, uh, and actually, uh, they, uh, they they put him under arrest. Uh, they handcuffed him, and, and so he was up there walking, or they? Uh, they were dragging him, kicking and screaming mostly. Uh. Uh, I was woken up at seven around seven thirty, with um, and then the sound of an explosion and glass breaking, and. Uh, Right away, I was, I was wondering, I thought it was an accident on the Queensway or an earthquake, and I ran upstairs and I looked out my window and I could see flames coming out of the, the unit beside my, exactly beside mine, and uh, the flames were coming out, and uh, the neighbors were running outside, and I heard somebody said that Christine, my neighbor, lives in the unit that was uh, where the explosion was, and I was screaming, and uh, so we ran outside, and all I can think about is Christine, and I just hope that she's okay.